Cabbage is a staple and a great survival food. Cabbage is a cold hardy plant and a great choice for gardeners in zone six who want to extend their growing season. It's a delicious yet underappreciated vegetable that can be used in so many different ways. Fresh in salads and coleslaw, cooked in stir fry or cabbage rolls, or fermented into sauerkraut or kimchi. We typically think of cabbage as a large, tightly compacted head, but cabbage comes in a variety of shapes and leaf textures. This variety is called capture and does well in the south because it resists root rot. However, there are looser varieties and ones with more crinkly leaves. This one is called Dayton. One of my favorites is Caraflex. They have a wonderful, sweet, mild flavor, and the leaves are great for wraps. They take 68 days to mature, so we're on the quick side and make a good spring crop. Cabbage are heavy feeders, so I usually add plenty of compost. They like full sun and require a pH range of 6.5 to 7.5. This is typically more alkaline than many soils in USDA Zone 6, so make sure you take a soil test and add lime if necessary. Cabbages are cold tolerant, but they do best if you start them indoors and then transplant the seedlings. Start them inside four to six weeks before planting them outside. In zone six, I plant cabbage indoors around March 1st. Harden off young seedlings by introducing them to the outdoors slowly, a couple of hours per day for a week. I like to stagger my cabbage plantings to ensure a long harvest period. Before planting outside, check the growing instructions for your specific variety for spacing requirements. Some compact varieties that develop small heads only need 12 inches between plants, while larger varieties might need 18 to 20 inches. Planting a variety of cabbage cultivars will spread out your harvest, give you different ways to cook it, and it looks pretty. Other brassicas need the same growing conditions as cabbage, so they can be planted in the same space. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, kale, and Swiss chard all grow well together. Cabbage plants can also grow well in containers for people with patio or balcony gardens. Make sure to select a pot at least 12 inches wide and deep. Use a four gallon grow bag for standard varieties and a two gallon grow bag for mini cabbages. For those of you using containers or grow bags, Tierra is a mini cabbage that is perfect for small spaces. It weighs less than two pounds and matures in just 63 days. Cabbages do well in raised beds. Black rot is one of the most common diseases in brassica. It can really reduce your yield and kill your plants. Unfortunately, there are not many cultivars with resistance. Capture, that you saw a picture of earlier in the video, is one of them. Black rot is caused by bacteria, and it is spread by water. You can also spread it to your property by getting infected seeds. One more reason not to get those cheap packets at the dollar store. Never water brassicas like cabbage and broccoli overhead. Drip irrigation is great. If you don't have a drip irrigation system, just make sure you are watering the soil around the plant and not its leaves. Water in the morning after the dew has evaporated. One of the biggest challenges with cabbages is that they are vulnerable to many insects. Cutworms, cabbage worms, cabbage lopers, and the diamond back moth larvae are the top pests that you might see munching on your plants. This is the cabbage, this is the caterpillar form of the cabbage white or cabbage butterfly. They are part of a family of white to pale yellow butterflies. The larvae feed on brassicas and love broccoli and cabbages. Birds, like chickens, also love them 
or you can hand pick them off. One way to prevent pests is to cover cabbage rows with mesh or row covers that prevent insects from physically getting to the plants. Row cover is also great for extending the season. If you watched my broccoli video, you may have heard this before, so feel free to skip ahead. I get a lot of questions about self-sufficiency in small spaces. Here's an example of a spring cool weather raised bed garden. This picture was taken on April 13th, a couple of years ago. So this raised bed is two by 12 feet and 10 inches deep. It's filled with compost and biocomp and has hoops with garden fabric in case we get some chilly weather. It held three cabbages, four broccoli, four Swiss charge, four lacetino kale, two red Russian kale, two arugulas, three lettuce, and six onions. Because it was a pretty close-knit group of plants, I did fertilize it every two weeks with fish emulsion. Harvest cabbages when the heads are still firm and have tightly packed leaves for the best storage. When you are ready to harvest, take a sharp knife and cut the head of the cabbage at the base of the plant. If your first harvest is ready early to mid-season, you can get a second harvest by leaving the outer leaves and only removing the head. Wrap your heads of cabbage tightly in plastic and they will store for up to three months in the refrigerator. The crisper is the best location as it retains more moisture than the shelves. However, for space reasons, this only works for a few heads. Cabbage needs a cool, moist environment with a temperature around 40 degrees Fahrenheit. They do well in a root cellar and will last several months if stored properly. Harvest cabbage and leaves, roots, and outside leaves intact. You can store them on a shelf or place them in a crate wrapped in newspaper. I think we often don't know what to do with cabbage. Cutting it up for salads or sl slaw is a great start. It's also fabulous fried, says the lady from the south, and you can grill it. Shred it. Cut it in different sizes to add texture to your dishes. Cabbage rolls are a favorite in my house. They are also great in egg rolls or use the leaves as a burrito wrap. And surprisingly enough, my kids love purple cabbage. Purple cabbage goes great with green beans, partly because it looks cool. Cabbage is nutrient dense and fills you up. It is a wonderful crop to grow and despite it, larger size does well in a small space. Check out my video on cabbage's best bud, broccoli. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and help us grow. Have a fabulous day.